Is Afghanistan entering a new era of drone technology? In recent weeks, reports have emerged of drone activity in eastern Afghanistan. Some sources indicate that new models are being built and tested in Nangarhar. This video offers a detailed and technical examination of these developments. The first key detail is the location around the city of Jalalabad. Its proximity to borders and access to transport routes offers key advantages. Reports suggest the facilities are equipped with active assembly workshops. These facilities are located in the region's industrial park and are operational. Recent investigations confirm new infrastructure modifications on site. Some of these workshops are said to be based in former NATO military bases. Experts believe the infrastructure is tailored for flight testing purposes. Experimental activity has reportedly intensified in the past few weeks. Intelligence sources indicate cooperation with multiple foreign countries. Engineers from Asia and Eastern Europe are reportedly involved in the project. The main goal appears to be building low-cost reconnaissance and attack drones. A combination of foreign expertise and local resources enables production. Observed prototypes feature delta wing designs and carbon fiber fuselages. This design reduces weight and increases endurance in flight. Wing geometry enhances maneuverability and agility during missions. Structural similarities with both eastern and western drone models are visible. The operational range of some variants is estimated at 300 to 400 kilometers. Recent test flights have recorded over two hours of continuous operation. A hybrid engine gasoline and electric is used for various missions. Some drones are built for surveillance, others for tactical operations. Navigation systems include GPS, uh, digital maps, and altimeters. Encrypted communication links remain active up to 80 kilometers away. Advanced versions include automatic return to base capabilities. These systems have reportedly performed well in field experiments. Day-night cameras with high zoom are installed for reconnaissance purposes. Thermal imaging systems have proven effective for nighttime detection. Live video transmitters operate on secured frequencies. Real-time image feeds are relayed to ground stations without delay. Payload capacity is reportedly up to 10 kilograms on some models. Payloads include imaging tools, electronics, or small explosive devices. Tests have been conducted with prototypes carrying small rockets. Precise details about the munitions used remain undisclosed officially. Ground units include light trucks equipped with directional antennas. These platforms allow control from medium range distances. Ground stations are set up at multiple locations around the test zone. All flight operations are conducted under digital control systems. Technical sources estimate unit costs to be under $20,000 per drone. This low cost is significant compared to global alternatives. Simple design, off-the-shelf components, and domestic production are key. These factors enable rapid mass production in a short time frame. Reports suggest parts are being imported from neighboring countries. Electronic components are sourced from regional markets into Afghanistan. Fuselage sections are partly produced locally, partly imported. Technical collaboration with industrial partners abroad is also mentioned. Test flight routes are mapped out in open areas of Nangarhar province. The tests include low altitude flights and navigation accuracy trials. Some drones have been launched using mobile launchers. Performance under windy conditions has been rated as successful. Test facilities are situated near mountainous terrain in the east. This geography allows real-world evaluation of drone capabilities. Rugged terrain aids testing of advanced navigation and control systems. 
It also reduces the risk of detection by external observers. In the region, experts are monitoring this program with great interest. Some analysts argue it could shift regional power dynamics. An increase in drone capabilities affects regional security balance. Neighboring countries are expected to intensify surveillance efforts. Discussions have begun on potential drone exports to other countries. If production scales up, formal or informal exports could follow. This may disrupt the market for low-cost aerospace technologies. No official information on export intentions has been published yet. International organizations are calling for greater transparency. Civilian and reconnaissance use is more acceptable under international law. Military use without oversight may raise human rights concerns. So far, no documented violations have been reported, but concerns remain. Could Afghanistan become a new drone power in the region? Given the recent developments, this is a serious question for analysts. Progress in manufacturing, technology, and testing suggests real momentum. Future outcomes depend on domestic decisions and regional politics. In upcoming videos, we will explore how these drones operate in practice. Expect simulated videos, flight maps, and detailed analysis ahead. If you're interested in drone technology, make sure to follow this channel. Don't miss any of our upcoming expert breakdowns and deep dives. What's your take on this transformation in Afghanistan? Comment below. How significant do you think its regional impact might be? We read and consider every one of your perspectives. Until the next analysis, stay informed, stay analytical, stay engaged.